Well, good morning everybody. Long time no vlog. Welcome back to my office. I saw my vlog camera sitting on my desk this morning and I thought, do you know what? Today might be vaguely interesting, 10% more interesting than most of the days of my life. So I might be uh, a little rusty at this old thing. I might, uh, might be a little rusty here, but um, let's give it a go. Let's see how we get on today. I promise I have got clothes on, by the way. I've got a pajama top on. I literally rolled out of bed this morning. Um, Adam went off to work and I came and plonked myself straight at my desk to just do a little bit of early morning admin type stuff. Just had a nice little coffee bowl of fruit. I uh, bought some exciting fruits the other day. Does anybody else get excited when they buy fruit that's not either apples or bananas? I actually went all out and bought peaches, kiwis, grapes, raspberries. So I had a lovely little fruit salad for my breakfast this morning because it's super sunny outside and all I ever want to eat when it's sunny outside is like nice fresh fruit and stuff. It is now just coming up to quarter to ten so I feel like I should probably start doing some actual productive work today at some point. For once I'm not going to be emergency hitting word counts and stuff like that today. Um, I haven't got any like looming deadlines on me at the moment apart from one thing which I'll talk about in a minute. Anyway the most exciting part of today is that I'm going out for dinner with Kate and Jenny. I think we're going to go to Bone Daddy's. Um, I'm going to go and meet them around like Old Street area I think. Um, I've never been before. I've literally never eaten ramen before. I don't really know how I've got to like eight years down the line of living in London or whatever it is and I've never been for ramen. I feel like that's a lot of people like staple diet. So I'm looking forward to that and I'm looking forward to seeing them because I haven't seen them for ages. So I'm gonna finish doing the little few bits and bobs and like little jobs that I wanted to cross off my list this morning and then I'm gonna go and sort myself out to film. Sorted. You'll probably be very pleased to see that I've actually got some proper clothes on now, which is progress in a weekday, really. So I'm trying to think what I've got to tell you, really. It's a bit of a weird month at the moment. I feel like we've literally been all over the place, me and Adam. Like, we've had so much going on. We seem to have suddenly been invited to 10 million things every single weekend, which, considering we normally don't really do that, we normally go out somewhere every weekend, but we never normally have, like, multiple invites going on every single weekend but that has been the case recently. I guess it's because the weather's good and stuff and everybody wants to be out doing things. Weekends have been really jam-packed and actually it's my weekdays that have been really kind of like slow paced and like weirdly empty at the moment. I guess you won't know if you don't follow me on Twitter that's kind of where I tend to put all my like immediate life updates and stuff but um, at the end of April, I kind of like made the conscious decision. I was looking through my work diary for upcoming deadlines and, and like upcoming office days that I had booked in and stuff with magazines and websites or whatever. And it actually turned out that May was looking very empty for me, which normally doesn't happen. Normally I try and book stuff quite far in advance and make sure that I have loads of work coming up because, you know, I need the money. <laughs> so I kind of like, made the weird decision. I still don't really know what like gave me the kick up the bum to do this. So I just kind of thought like let's give YouTube a go for one month and see how we get on. I've literally never ever been able to give YouTube very much time. It's always something that I've had to like fit around my normal work and stuff as it is for most people who aren't kind of like in the position where they can just go straight into full-time YouTube bash out videos every other day and kind of turn it into a job immediately. Like that doesn't happen for very many people. If that does happen, <laughs> you're super privileged and lucky. That's amazing. I just thought I'd give it a go and see how it like affects me and affects my creativity um, and like my love for YouTube. Cause I didn't know whether it was gonna make me like be super into it and love it even more or absolutely hate it and resent it. If you've been wondering why there's suddenly a fairly regular amount of videos going up on my channel, that's why. It's because I'm not really doing anything else at the moment and it's amazing how much YouTube stuff you can get done when there's nothing else going on in life. Being self-employed, I've really had to teach myself how to work to a fixed routine and because I don't have that at the moment, because I don't have any articles, features, anything to write, it's kind of left me feeling a bit like I'm lacking direction and like, there's just this like empty stretch out in front of me, which I really don't like. It makes me feel weird. It's a position that makes my brain go into like super overdrive panic mode. And it's just kind of left me feeling a little bit lost. And like, I don't really know what I'm doing at the moment, which is something I haven't felt for a while. But I also think it's really interesting. And I've learned a lot from that. It's made me realize that even if I was at like 
a bajillion subscribers making a fortune off it very much not the case at the point i am at the moment um it's not quite right for me which is really interesting like i wasn't really expecting to feel like that so i'm really glad that i've taken the past two weeks or whatever it's been to discover that myself it's kind of like scratch an itch because there was always that kind of thing in the back of my head that was like oh yeah i'm doing good but what if i could give it a full eight hours a day what could i be achieving if i was doing that turns out i just like making videos as and when i want to make a video and that's totally cool <laughs> if you can hear some music in the background that is my neighbors blasting out the 1975 if it was any other band i'd be annoyed but to be honest i'm just having a little dance um so what else has been going on adam went to a stag do at the weekend his first ever stag do uh it was in liverpool of all places which i find hilarious um because he was wandering the streets that i wandered as a drunk teenager uh, he had a great time came back a broken man um but i had a pretty quiet weekend while he was away to be honest watched the eurovision uh you know classic crazy cat lady activities what am i gonna do with my eyes here the same thing that i do every other day of my life probably back to work stuff though like this is just like the most like kick in the teeth ironic ridiculous thing though but um it also just so happened in the first month that I'd ever kind of put to one side to focus on YouTube, um, I had a pretty, a pretty exciting job offer come in. I don't want to say a lot because I haven't got the job yet. What can I say about it without like double, triple, quadruple jinxing myself and not getting the job? It's a publication I've never written for before which is always exciting. I always like to add new ones to my list. Uh, recently did some work at Top of the Pops magazine, which was a new one for me, so that's cool. Yeah, I'd been recommended by someone who I've worked for in the past, which is always really nice. Kind of a big publication, maybe the biggest one I would have ever written for, which is also very cool. So the thing I have to do today, aside from film a video, is the written portion of the kind of like job test I guess it's like a little edit test I guess because they want to like see my writing see if I understand the demographic if I know the kind of like right celebrities to write about and stuff I'm a little bit worried about it actually I had a quick skim through it yesterday it's due tomorrow they give me a couple of days to do it so I can have a look at it again tomorrow as well but um, I want to get a good start on it today but it does actually look really hard so I'm a little bit worried about that but anyway that's this afternoon, I need to get this video done. So I'm gonna go and quickly finish this makeup because I'm doing it at about the rate of your average tortoise. Oh, look how cute you are. Where has your other ear gone? Here it is. Doop. As you can see, Flo is literally my spirit animal. Forever in this pose, not wanting to do anything other than lie down. So that's, the, that's as good as it's gonna get today, I think. That's about it. Should have washed my hair. Uh, speaking of hair, hang on, let me just turn this off. I'm watching um, the finale of Shane's videos with Bunny. They are so good. I just love Shane so much, Shane Dawson, that it actually like makes my heart hurt a little bit. I really want to be his friend. Anyway, I now need to gather up some things to take up to the office. This video requires props. My hair's looking truly insane. I should have washed it. Speaking of hair, thanks for all the ridiculously lovely comments that you've left about my new, my new vibe. Um, if this is the first video you've watched in a while, hey, welcome back. I had my hair done. Um, I had quite a lot cut off the bottom and I also had quite a lot of blonde put through it, like a blonde summery balayage, I think you'd call it. Uh, basically, I went back to the Wirral a couple of weeks ago specifically to get it done because I have a favourite hairdressers in the whole world. I go to a place called The Colour Bar, which is on the Wirral um, near Liverpool. I have been going there for years now. Actually, I started going when I was about 17, I think, because they had a sunbed in there. And I used to go on the sunbed when I was a misled, uninformed scouse teenager. I don't do that anymore. Don't worry about that. And don't do it. I trust them with my hair 100%. So I knew that's where I wanted to go. Um, it's also a lot cheaper than London prices. I can't afford to get my hair done in London because I don't want to take out a mortgage 
to get some bleach put through my hair. They're so wonderful in there, they're so so lovely, all the staff are just like such babes, they're all so friendly and so chatty. So I popped back to the Wirral, I, when did I even get this done? Maybe like a week ago, two weeks ago now? And I trust them enough now so that I go in and I just say, just do what you think will look best. Which is probably like so unhelpful, um, but I took a couple of photos in, my hairdresser Gage had a little look at them, and she created basically my dream hair. I just love it so much. I love the tone of the blonde. I did actually film some footage while I was at the colour bar as well because um, I thought it might just be interesting if you fancy seeing like the process of me getting this done. So if you happen to live around there I'm fully giving them a shout out because it is like the nicest hair salon experience. I really really love going there. Um, so definitely check it out if you happen to be Wirral or Liverpool based and you fancy getting your hair done. So I guess I'll put that footage in now to make this vlog much more exciting. <coughs> not one of my videos without fairy lights there we go so I thought I'd just show you as well that while like this is what you see as my filming background um, it's like nice blurring effect going on it always looks very pretty this is what's actually going on just just out of shot this is what it takes for me to actually like film a video an actual bra my desk is like full on chaos covered in nonsense. I need to bring this trolley out next to me so I've got all the bits while I film. Feeling like I'm in a chatty mood so I think it could be a long one. I've got a lot to say about this. <laughs> this is a video I've wanted to film for ages and I've been putting it off and putting it off mainly because of body confidence issues but that's something that I'm really working on at the moment. Let's put the camera on. Actually some battery would probably be a good idea wouldn't it? Battery, microphone, memory card, lights need to shut the window, which is gross because it's really hot there. It is now quarter past three. I don't know where today is going. Sorry if you can hear Jason Derulo in the background. I've got the radio on to give myself a bit of sanity. Um, I just wanted to check the post. I uh, had something really interesting waiting for me, so I thought I'd give you a little sneaky peek. Oh, hey there, Harry. Just chilling in the background there. Um, this is what was waiting for me. So this is the brand new Latest in Beauty beauty box and it's all stuff that's going to recharge your body, rejuvenate your skin um, and set you up for a good night's sleep which I think is a really cute little idea actually. I think a lot of beauty boxes are a bit crap but I've had a few from Latest and Beauty now and I've been so impressed by all of them like look first thing in here is a sheet mask from Origins, a little hair mask from a brand called Law, a full size of the uh, This Works Deep Sleep Pillow Spray, I love this stuff, something from Brow Bar, this is their brow exfoliator, literally never exfoliated my brows before, that's exciting, Elemis, I was actually reading about this the other day, so this is a lip solve from a company called Base, but apparently it's a lip solve that eliminates the possibility of cold sores and like takes down the chance of you getting a cold sore by like a huge percentage. I do occasionally get cold sores so I'm really interested in this. This is one that all the fancy beauty bloggers like. This is from Omravitska. Omravitsa? Who knows? Looks extremely extra. I'm into it. Um, then there's also things from Wren. There's a little Rituals body cream, which looks super fancy. Uh, oh, there's a full size OPI. That's such a cool color. This is a micro roller, which I have never used before. I'm really on a quest at the moment to like make my skin better. It's actually super dry. I can't find anything that quenches my skin properly at the moment, which is really annoying. Uh, I'm trying to focus a bit more on my skincare. So I'm intrigued to try that. Anyway. That's my little box delivery. Hope you enjoyed that. And I've also just had this very jazzy pink envelope arrive, full, and I mean full, of goodies from Sleek Makeup. Like, I've literally got everything from primer, different foundations, I think this is powder, 
Um, this is a little concealer palette, eyeshadows. This is the new highlighting palette, which is very exciting. This is a copper plate highlighting palette. Um, literally everything, eyebrows, mascara, blush, all the way down to this extremely snazzy looking metallic lip product, which I'm slightly terrified of, not gonna lie. But I guess there's only one thing for it, now that I've got all this sitting on my desk. I better do an average girl try sleek makeup. How exciting! If that's something you'd like to see, and you fancy seeing me test a full face of sleek, um, let me know in the comments down below, and I will definitely do that for you. Basically, I'm just really now putting off doing the work that I need to do. I either need to edit the video or I need to do that um, written edit test, which I'm really putting off so much. A major bad habit of mine with things like that is self-sabotage. Like, I just don't make it easy for myself at all. I know that I'm not gonna do that today. Always left my revision till last minute, left my dissertation till about a week before it was due in. It's just how I roll. <laughs> I don't massively recommend it. It's not great for your blood pressure, um, but that's just, People just work differently, I guess. So I'm gonna try and get a really good couple of hours of work done now before I head into town and go and find Kate and Jenny for some food. Because one meal is not enough. I don't want. Thumbs up for ramen. Oh. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Yeah. 